Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Monster Gen Monster video. So today I'm going to be reviewing the free-to-play Breeding Mythic Monster Harna Gorilla. And um, it's going to be a level 1 to 100 review. We're going to take it to battle. I'm going to show you guys the best runes, the best relics, everything you need to know about this mythic monster. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to your notification. Anyways, let's go on and get started. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, um, I went ahead and bred this monster earlier today in my um, previous video. If you guys haven't checked that out, make sure to do so. And um, as you guys can see, we have the monster here. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and speed this up and sadly we get only one rune slot open that really sucks i've got to say that's pretty bad anyways let's take a look at <laughs> this monster's design is actually kind of funny i've got to say whoa okay that's a that's a pretty cool ultimate um but yeah that's 986 and you got harna gorilla so whoa look at that life 138,132. that caught me off guard okay this monster has the highest life stat in the game ladies and gentlemen you know what his his stats aren't really that bad i like his life the most because it's the highest so that's cool um we have a new tank uh a new monster that has like the highest life side in the game that's pretty interesting um so i see the, i see his trait i think that's um hardened if i'm not mistaken let me take a look at that is it hardened yep it is hardened so you got hardened you also have immune to stun pretty bad in my opinion and then you have life regen come on life regen are you serious is that to everybody or just her himself i started battle the static sister gains life regen it doesn't really say so i think it's only for himself if i'm not mistaken um but either way trait wise not the best in my opinion but we're gonna go ahead and check out the skills i see there's lots of physical skills that's pretty interesting um so in case you guys didn't know this monster can be used as a tank and also an attacker now for the purpose of this video i'm gonna go ahead and just you know remove those so it'd be appreciated if you guys could drop a like and return um anyways so his ultimate heart knock life it removes 40 percent of total life and applies mega sun and bleeding to all enemies and 100 percent life shield to its top now let's say the enemy doesn't have dodge area it doesn't have any type of um stun ability stun immunity you know what i mean then what you can do is remove 40 percent you mega sun them for two turns and bleeding gets applied as well so if that bleeding ends up landing on all of them that's pretty good because you can basically um deal some damage with that every turn as well and here's the thing here's a scary part if you have a megaton on your side and he ends up ultimating you then 40 percent i mean that's literally just overkill so the the tank will basically die the megatons um but anyways so one of the skills that we start off with is megatons and immune to freeze this is just for yourself so of course if you want to go ahead and equip it you can i would say do it because this monster doesn't need it you know what i mean it has a high life side in the game so why not now you also have Street Sweeper, which applies Mega Stun to one enemy and then applies or deals moderate physical damage to all enemies. Okay, so Mega Stun to one enemy and then physical damage to everybody. Interesting. All right. And it's a moderate physical damage. All right. Uh, cross Guard applies Taunt and blocks up 50% of the incoming damage for itself. Regards cool down. Okay, so the damage section with Taunt, not bad. Now, again, you can actually either run both of the Taunt skills. One is Mega Taunt, the other one is, you know taunt itself you can do this if you want but um some players will probably run both of them or one uh liver killer deals moderate physical damage to an enemy applies bleeding to an enemy applies stun to an enemy so that's not bad uh deep breath applies stamina region to one ally gives 25 percent of stamina to itself i wish that 25 percent of stamina was to whoever you want really wanted to give but it is what it is phase jab all right um this is a day to an enemy and then deals moderate physical damage to all enemies. I would rather go with this one. Come on, this one applies Mega Sun. Who doesn't want to go with Mega Sun over days? Come on, really? Now that stamina cost is pretty high, I've got to say. Dang. All right, applies days to all enemies. This is a spammable skill. Low physical damage to one enemy applies bleeding. This is also spammable as long as you have the 10 stamina. But in my personal opinion, these are his four best skills, ladies and gentlemen. And what I've noticed is that all of his skills that actually deals damage are physical so he does not have any element disadvantage uh that's pretty good now the other thing that kind of sucks about this monster besides this trait is the fact that it costs a lot of stamina you know using his skills so that kind of sucks i gotta say um but you know what this skill right here isn't so bad um actually hmm never mind 15 stamina cost i was gonna say you can probably use this monster in grandmaster duels since they turned off relics you know what I mean? So you could have done triple speed hard knock gorilla just to apply the stamina regen in case if they hit you with like tor boxes, stamina removal. You know what I mean? But sadly you can't. Anyways, so with all that being said, let's take a look at the relics. You have armor is one of them. You know what? This is actually good. You can do killer rocks armor or you can do, for example, recharge armor. Both works. I'm going to do the recharge armor. Trap. 
All right, for trap, I do. You know what? Moonhole trap is not that bad if you want to go with that. Um, also, you can do slumster trap if you want to regenerate stamina because this monster does need stamina. Uh, Fundy's trap is actually pretty good as well. If you have that, go for it. Uh, there are many options, but I think I'm going to go with this one just so I can regenerate some stamina. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I want to do something different. <laughs> But again, the other ones are really popular, so if you want to go with those options, you can. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for the runes, since I don't have this monster maxed out, I'm going to go with something like this. So you can do two team speed and one life. You can also do triple team speed. Make sure they're mutated to, with life. If you don't have them mutated with life, that's fine. Um, you can do something like what I did here. Uh, one life and two team speed. You can even do two life and one team speed if you want. I wouldn't recommend triple life unless you know what you're doing. Um, but honestly, this is the most popular, I'd say. Uh, but if you do have muted runes, like for example, life with team speed, then go for it. It's going to help you and your teammates. Um, but with all that being said, I think I'm going to run this monster with uh, his taunt and mega taunt skill. Now, the taunt with damage section, this kind of reminds me of Erder in a way. Uh, so you can do maybe triple speed if you want to. I know that sounds a little silly, but think about it. If you do triple speed here, right, taking in the first turn, what you could do is apply that taunt with the damage section, and you basically have access to that taunt with damage section. So if you could pair it up with like two dodge areas on the side, it's not a bad idea. But that's up to you though. Alright, so take a look at this guys. We're running uh, triple speed Harna Gorilla. You can also do two, two speed on one of life if you want to. Um, but again, we just want to do triple speed just so we can take in the first turn. And um, what I'm going to start off first is going to be taunt with the intersection. And this is if you're going to be running it with the two dodge area combo. Um, you can do something like this or you could also start off with mega taunt. That's up to you. But let's say I start off with surprise gifts. Look at that barely deals any damage to the monster because it has a damage section in there and if it was single target it would have went towards the monster but it had damage section now let's say for example this dark skill right here the aoe right look it only dealt that much damage ouch it actually took down my monster because of the talent but it's okay because uh my other monster can actually come back but the taunt played his role in a way um so here's my um output on that i wouldn't really recommend using this monster if you're going to be like pairing it up with like the dodge area combo um, I'm not really a huge fan of him because there are better taunts in the game that you can actually go with uh, rather than, you know, using him. For example, there's Kiberion, there is uh, Darkuma. Darkuma is fantastic. Uh, even though it's from like the Corrupted Era, I would say it's actually better in my opinion. Um, there's so many more that you can actually go with. But again, here I'm just doing the 2 dodge Eric combo and um, we're just going to go for the win, honestly. If this was like a war battle, of course I wouldn't have, been, I wouldn't have went with... Uh, Arna Gorilla, I would have went with a different tank just because of that. Like, you gotta be careful because this monster, I guess it's just because of the level at the moment. So that's why, you know, he couldn't survive those hits. But let's say if it was a, a different attacker, I could have probably, I guess, survived their hit. But again, you still have to, you know, waste those team speeds and go with speed runes just so you could take in the first turn, just so you could apply taunt with damage section when there are other monsters um, that you can actually use that can basically do the same thing they, they'll start off with the taunts you know as their trait for example or status caster you don't even have to apply it so you just gotta basically um go with like the safer options now i might actually lose this because of that <laughs> um okay let's say we want to do ouch uh you know what let's do the massive skill the one that deals a lot of damage i survived the hit but will I be able to finish off this monster? What do you guys think? Do you guys think I could actually finish this monster up? I'm just going to do the thunder skills because those are going to deal a lot of damage. And I took down the monster. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, victory. All right, so here's the thing, guys. Again, there are better options to go with. Like, let me show you. There's Mermodus, actually. I have Mermodus at 142. And if I had a 150 uh, Harna Gorilla, I'd rather go with Mermodus. The thing with Harna Gorilla, another thing is that his skills it's not like heavy damage output you know what i mean like look, look at his damage outputs on the skills that he actually deals damage with and i i know that he doesn't have you know any type of element disadvantage but again like if you're going to be using him as an attacker there are better options you know to go with uh so sadly that's the thing like it's his trait that makes him so bad if his trait was let's say taunt at least even if it was a status caster i would have still liked that but it's not Look at this. Who's going to care about life regen? Who's going to care about immune to stun or hardened? Hardened would have been all right if it was, let's say, hardened with like a taunt trait or mega taunt. Mega taunt would have been better, right? Um, but again, if you're going to be running him as an attacker, I'm just going to tell you there are better options, especially for the light category. There is, you know, let me show you. Let me part compare this other monster to you guys. And I'm sure many of you guys do have it already. 
Cupid. Yes, this is the one I'm talking about. For the light category, it's just so much better. It has Pierce. It has so many other good stuff in here. You know what I mean? So, I would say just do, um, you know, go with Cupid if you're going to be using uh, any type of attacker. I wouldn't really recommend Harna Gorilla. Just letting you guys know. So, I know this is supposed to be like a review on him, but I'm just giving you guys my honest opinion just so that none of you guys are going to take like false info from this video and you're going to just go in and battle with him and you're like, dude, MG said he was good. What is this? He's pretty bad. Well, that's the thing, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I just wish that this monster um, had some type of taunt or mega taunt, you know, status guess or a trade. I would have liked that, but sadly, it's not like that. So it kind of sucks. But yeah, I just wanted to, you know, compare a few other tanks with him because I would say there are better options. Like, for example, Kiberion, even though it's from Metropolitan Era versus a Blossom Era, I would rather go with Kiberion, you know what I mean? There is what else? Like I said, there was one uh, that I uh, mentioned earlier. You know what? I would even go with Mojodrak over this monster as a taunt monster, you know what I mean? Even though it's from the Corrupted Era, because at least Mojodrak starts off with a taunt and it has it. Uh, he has it as a trait, you know what I mean? Uh, there's Clutch. Clutch is way better, you know what I mean? So just, just letting you guys know about this, you know what I mean? But that's going to be pretty much it for today's Monsters and Monster Review. I hope you guys did enjoy, and if you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.